Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, and this is Beer 30. Beer 30 sanity session. Sort of, sort of. Almost sanity, but it's more insanity than anything else. But <clears throat> since I'm here at this borrowed place here in Capitan, it's my old home base that somebody else owns, and I'm here trespassing almost. I thought, well, you know, the only thing I need to do is be able to run, and that noise you hear is the air conditioner right there. <clears throat> it's a beautiful sound when it's hot, but be that as it may. I thought, well, hell, I'll just go get me a generator, and I can go camping anywhere, just so I can run the air conditioner for a few hours a day, right? Well, let me tell you more about that. <clears throat> and this is just for me. This is what I found out for me. If you can benefit from it, wonderful. If you can't, don't worry about it. To get a generator that will run the AC is not expensive. Not well, not it, you can get one that'll run the air conditioner for about anywhere from four to eight hundred bucks or a thousand or whatever, depending on what brand you buy. <clears throat> so the price is not prohibitive. However, I'm 75 years old, and they're not lightweight. They are not. No, no, no. To run this air conditioner right here, this is a 9200, B, 9200 BTU air conditioner, okay? It's a Coleman Mach, M-A-C-H, whatever that is. But anyway, it's 9200 BTUs, and whenever it surges to <clears throat> start up, it's hard to find what that number really is but it's somewhere around 14 to 1800 BT, or excuse me, uh, watts surge, you know what I mean? So you need at least a generator that will produce 2000 watts or more and, and then you'll be comfortable, okay? However, you're gonna find, then when you get into that mess, you're gonna wanna know, well, do I want a dual fuel, as in two fuels, gasoline or propane, or do I want gasoline only? Well, gasoline is cheaper, no doubt. No doubt about that. <clears throat> Not much. And, but, there's always a catch-22, and here it is. Propane is not as efficient or powerful as gasoline. It's about 80% as efficient. So if it says that it's a 2,000 watt generator on gasoline, that means it's about 1,600 or so on propane maybe a little more I'm not these are not exact numbers but this is kind of in my mind so <clears throat> I thought okay I'll get me a dual fuel generator and I can go camping anytime I want to and run the air conditioner or the furnace or anything right well it's like you bought into a family you know it's like you got married to the generator because a lot of stuff comes with it first of all to get one that will run the air conditioner, air conditioner, first of all, it's beer 30, right? <clears throat> it is for me. Here's to you. Here's to me. Mm. Oh, that's good. Very good. Ain't it right? Ain't that right? Rocky. <laughs> anyway, so to get one to run the air conditioner for me, I wanted to be comfortable, and I thought, well, you know, if you get a 2,000, you're right on the, you know, mm, you know, and then you got to run the inverter for the, so if you plug it directly into the RV using a 30 amp connector, then, you know, you're running everything in the RV, including the inverter inside the RV, which uses a little bit, and, you know, if you accidentally had your uh, hot water heater turned on to electric, it ain't going to work. So, to get one that would be comfortable would be about 3,000 watts, okay? Well, guess what? A 3,000 watt generator weighs 3,000 pounds <laughs> to me, you know what I mean? Because I got to lift it in and out of the back of my truck. Well, and I'll get back to the family of stuff in a minute. So I thought, well, let me see which one is the lightest. Well, I did finally find one that weighed like 57 pounds, and it was a GE 2500i, I think. <clears throat> and it was like 600 bucks. 
Well, that's still heavy, folks, for me to lift it in and out of the truck because the solar panels that I've got coming weigh about 30 pounds, and that's that's even heavy for me. Now, for you, for you supermen, superwomen, hell, just pick it up with one end and throw it in there. But along comes the family. You get you got to have some oil for it because they do burn a little oil, and we'll get. I want to talk about the motors too. I won't want to forget that. They do burn a little oil, and uh, so you're going to have the, the, the generator, one, oil, two, gas can or gas cans, gasoline cans or propane tanks, depending on what you're going to use. And you could use the tank on the RV, but it's just going to run it down to zero, and then you can't cook food. That ain't, that ain't too good, is it? So now, back to the, that, so that's kind of the family that comes into your vehicle is the the generator, the oil, the oil can, you got to have a fuel filter to get, or a fuel uh, thing, uh, what do you call it, funnel, to get it into the tank, and the oil thing too, you got to have a funnel and all that stuff. So you got a whole group of stuff to put somewhere for me in the back of my truck, Psst, hell with that. But let me tell you something else, the trick on these things, why is Honda so expensive? Because it's good, that's why. They're damn good. They're, they're they're very good. They're better than anything else out there. Why? <clears throat> well, they're as fuel efficient as anything out there. That's number one. And as far as quiet, they're quieter than just, I, I didn't see any that were any quieter at any size. So, the trick is Honda's generator, the 2000i or 2200i, has like a 115 center, cubic centimeter or cc uh, engine and the others that compare with it have anywhere from an 80 cc to a 98 cc engine. So what you got is <coughs> you got these little bitty motors running like crazy to produce that much power so that means they're not going to last very long okay because they're running their little feet off. The Honda however is kind of taking a walk in the park. So, if I was going to buy one, I would buy a Honda 2200i. Why didn't I? Well, I tried two places. They were out of stock. I tried Amazon, and they got it, but they won't deliver it to a Dropbox, okay? And then I tried Walmart, and uh, they won't either. They, in fact, you can't even get one shipped to the store because they don't have the 2200i. It says it's out of stock. But anyway, enough said about that. If it was in stock, I mean, I ordered and canceled, I ordered and canceled, ordered and canceled. I even went to Home Depot and found one, and I ordered it, and I put in the address, I was going to order it, you know, ship to, and I put, uh, you know, ship to the store. They wouldn't ship it to the store. So there's all kind of these little weird glitches, but it didn't matter. It all worked out for the best for me. When I grew up in South Texas on a farm in the 19, well, I was born in 1945, <clears> thousand years ago. We didn't have air conditioning. We didn't have air conditioner. I didn't. I, I was not in an air conditioned home until the 1960s. No, later than that, 1970s, because I had to, I got back from service and I, and I went to San Antonio, went to work, and I got an apartment. Had an air conditioner. How wonderful! But it was a window air conditioner. It wasn't central air and heat. But I remember that. So that was the first time I had an air conditioner. But anyway, so all those years I managed to live without having air conditioning. Can I do? And it's you know, walking outside here right now, I don't know what the temperature is, probably about 78. Hell, that's air conditioning, okay? I'm here in Capitan, New Mexico. And uh, yeah, elevation 6,500 feet. And I'm compl I'm complaining. I mean, I need an air conditioner? Are you kidding me? I mean, jeez, it, get, it gets down so cold at night, I got to pull up a blanket. You know what I mean? And I'm... It, I've lost my mind, okay? Well, I didn't lose it. I never had it. Somebody else got it. I don't know who it was. One of you guys, I guess. But yeah, so what I'm going to do is just face the facts that it does get warm during the day, but it's only for a few hours. You know, it's not like it, you know, it's not like it's from 10 in the morning till 10 at night out here in, in New Mexico where I am, and that's where I'm going to be camping because I like this area. And uh, yeah, I can go up a little higher and a little lower, whatever I want to do. I even looked at going over to Cloudcroft, you know, but they, it's, it, it can get, it's cool in Cloudcroft. It is. It sure is. So, the deal on the generator, I know a lot of you guys said, Rusty, just get you a generator, man. Just, and I kept thinking, well, maybe I ought to just get one. 
Well, if I could get a Honda 1000i and run the air conditioner that weighs 28 pounds, hello, I'm in. Guess what? It won't run anything. You know what I mean? And so you got to go to a 2200 and up with a surge of around 2500 if you can get it to, to run this air conditioner here. Now you can run with a 3000 uh, watt generator. Uh, you can run a 15,000 uh, BTU air conditioner. You're one of the big ones. You can run 13 fives, 15,000. Uh, you may not be able to run much else, and you may not be able. To, well, you can run them. Yeah, with a gallon of gas, you'd probably be able to run it for six, eight hours or more. And a gallon of gas costs you two bucks. Is it worth it? Hell yeah. You know, is it worth it to be comfortable? Yeah, 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 yeah. And the Honda, you know, the 2200i, you know, it don't. It, 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 it you know, based on what I was doing, the numbers, you know, because it doesn't. It, it idles, the, the air conditioner there idles at about 1,200 uh, uh, watts. Well, it's got the fan on now, and so that, that may be less, you know, maybe around 8 to 1,000 watts. Well, see, that generator would just be about 25 to 35 percent, and so, yeah, you'd, you'd be sipping gas. I figured you could get by uh, for about a dollar or dollar fifty a day on the gasoline or propane, you know, maybe because you know, it's going to use a little more propane. But having said that, you know, the, generally the idea is, you know, if you want to run an air conditioner, uh, you're going to have to bring a whole new family into your RV. That's it. Or you're into your camper or your truck or whatever. And uh, I don't want to fool with it. I don't want to maintain a generator. Period. You got you got giant the oil. You replace the oil. I know it's easy, and uh, you know, but you got to lift the generator in and out. And I don't want to lift. Well, the one I finally ended up with was like 63 pounds. Ain't going to happen, Jack. Ain't going to happen. So anyway, the generator for me, for me, for me, for me, I do me, you do you. Anyway, yeah, it's not going to work. Ain't. But anyway, beer works. Beer works good. Here's to me. Here's to you. Should we ever disagree? Here's to me. You know, I could do karate really. What I here went your esophagus right there in my hand. Got it. Anyway, enough said about that. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Anyway, guys, that's the Beer 30 Insanity Sanity Session from uh, Rusty with the titanium cranium that keeps out negativity and, and anything else. <laughs> and anything. Everything. <laughs> you know, if you want to really pull a little prank, Go in a store and have a coughing fit. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, and spit or something, you know what I mean? Just really put on a show. That, that'll that get you thrown in prison for life now. But anyway, having said that, guys, that was the generator story. And and uh, anyway, all you guys that are out there camping and have generators, I'm not being negative on, on anything about that. I mean, you know, I just wish that I had the strength to pick up a 100-pound a generator because they've got a, it's called a champion 3,400 uh, uh, watt. Uh, it's not very expensive. I can't remember how much it was. But no, it's a good one. It's got a 30 amp uh, plug. It's got all kind of good stuff. And it's, it's got a little small engine, but it, it would do everything. But it's just too damn heavy, man. I think it was around 80 pounds. You know, and I can't do that. That's out. So anyway, guys, from Capitan, New Mexico, with a good old buzz on here, this is Rusty78609 saying... Enjoy your life. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye. Bye. Anything you want. Anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon. And what else? Uh, yeah, it doesn't cost you a penny. Uh, you can use the PayPal thing if you want to. And uh, drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day and take deep breath. If it's fresh air, take the deep breath. And then what else? Uh, yeah, the, 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 the stretch, the stretch, the swoop, 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 walk, 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 exercise your body. Once twice a day, stand guard the door of your mind. You don't have to stand guard at it if you've got a titanium cranium. In other words, you have trained yourself to eliminate negativity totally, then you have a titanium cranium. You deserve it. So you need to work at that. You want to have a ti titanium cranium. See how that all fits together? But anyway, all those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which are your thoughts, you. And so add good ingredients. Anyway, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, drink good beer. And uh, yeah, add ease. At ease. Carry on. Adios. Bye bye. Hasta luego. Vaya con Dios. Aloha. Till next time, guys. I'll post this, uh, I don't know, I'll post it sometime. Adios. Bye bye.